Hi, this is Krista with ArtisticVegan.com and welcome back to another Artistic Vegan show. In this week's episode, we'll be making pumpkin treats in light of the season and the first being a pumpkin spice latte. To start, make a strong batch of coffee. I use two heaping spoons. You'll need two cups of dairy-free milk. I use coconut. Two tablespoons of pumpkin puree with two teaspoons of coconut sugar and one teaspoon of pumpkin spice mix. Pour that into a small saucepan. Whisk it together really well. Add a little bit of coffee to your cup. And then pour the steamed pumpkin mixture on top. Top with a little bit of cinnamon, and you can also add a vegan whipped cream if you'd like. Isn't that an easy pumpkin spice latte recipe? Now, as we sip on the latte, it's very good, and I am excited to talk about the next recipe. Next, we have a pumpkin spice cheesecake with chocolate shavings on top. Isn't that beautiful? I'm gonna show you how to make it next. I actually made this the night before so I can demonstrate it to you once it's done since it will need to set in the freezer for a while. For the crust, you'll need one and a half cups of walnuts or pecans. I used walnuts. Along with one cup of pitted medjool dates. Place that in your food processor and add a quarter teaspoon. Press this in your food processor until it is nice and sticky and forms together well. Lightly grease a spring form pan or your desired. Take a couple strips of parchment paper. Place the strips of parchment paper in an X pattern on the bottom of your pan so you can easily lift out the dessert when you're done. Pour the crushed ingredients into the bottom of the pan and press it into the pan. For the cheesecake, you will need one and a half cup soaked raw cashews, one half cup pumpkin puree, one lemon squeezed with one teaspoon vanilla. For the spices, you'll need a pinch of salt, one half teaspoon cinnamon, one half teaspoon nutmeg, pumpkin spice, and an optional pinch of cloves. Sweeten with a half cup dates and add three quarter cups of your favorite milk. I used coconut milk. Place that all in a blend, blend and scrape down the sides as needed until it is extremely smooth. Pour the pumpkin cheesecake onto the crust. Spread it around creating an even mixture and tap it down a few times to get rid of any air bubbles. Top with ground cinnamon, 
as well as a sprinkle of coconut sugar, which is totally optional. And last but not least, I took an 80% cacao chocolate bar, cut it in half, and proceeded to make chocolate shavings. Sprinkle the chocolate shavings on top and place the pumpkin cheesecake in the freezer overnight or until it is frozen. Once it's frozen, remove the screen form pan. And go ahead and slice yourself a piece and enjoy. All right, so I'm sure you want to know how it tastes. So very quickly, I'm going to show you this is what a slice looks like. I'm going to give that one to my husband. It's nice and pretty. And I have a smaller one here. Okay. Mm. It's very good. And it doesn't have any extra sugar in it. It is actually sweetened with dates. So this is an awesome recipe for the season, and who doesn't love cheesecake? And last but not least will be pumpkin bread. This is a gluten-free version, and it's low in sugar. It uses a third 
of the amount of, that is usually used. So it's healthier and it's oil free and I think you're really gonna love it. Start with one and a half cup gluten free flour, one half cup coconut sugar, one half teaspoon salt, one half teaspoon baking powder, and one teaspoon baking soda. Combine that in a bowl. Add one teaspoon cinnamon. One half teaspoon clove. One half teaspoon nutmeg. One quarter teaspoon pumpkin spice. One quarter teaspoon allspice. Mix that together until well combined. Combine two tablespoons of flax meal with six tablespoons of water. Mix well. In a separate bowl, combine one cup of pumpkin puree. Take some ripe bananas and place them in your food processor to create a banana puree until you have one third cup. the banana puree to the bowl with the pumpkin puree. Along with the congealed flax mixture. Mix well. Add your wet to the dry, mix until combined. Add one half cup chocolate chips. I used a mixture of miniature with regular. Fold them into the batter. I lined a baking sheet with parchment paper, greased it, and floured it to be safe. Transfer it to the prepared pan. You can also use a loaf pan. I personally like the shape of the round loaf. Using your spatula, create the desired shape. Transfer that to an oven at 350 degrees and bake for 60 to 90 minutes until done. Our oven gets really hot so I actually pulled it out after about 30 minutes. I then let the oven cool and reheated it and put it in for another about 20 minutes. With any bread or baked good, just watch it and once your knife comes out clean and it's a little bit hollow sending on the end, then when you flick it, it should be done. Cool and slice, serve and enjoy.
So there you have it, three pumpkin recipes, pumpkin bread, a pumpkin latte, and pumpkin cheesecake. I hope you enjoy these recipes. You can find more at artisticvegan.com. Thank you for watching.